Hey y'all, today I'm cooking up some chocolate cake in the Instant Pot. To a bowl, add cocoa, all-purpose flour, sugar, bacon powder, bacon soda, and a little salt. Whisk this together until combined, then add your milk, melted butter, eggs, and a little vanilla extract. You'll want to beat this about three or four minutes until your batter becomes smooth and there's no lumps in it. Take a six inch cake pan, line it with parchment paper. Spray the inside lightly with nonstick spray, then pour in your cake batter. Cover the pan tightly with aluminum foil, poking a small hole in the top. Check the Instant Pot lid to make sure the switch is set to seal Remove the lid, add the water. Now your Instant Pot comes with this trivet here. I don't like it, it doesn't have very tall handles on it. I found this on Amazon, it's made of silicone, it's heat resistant, and it makes removing food from the pot really easy. Place your cake pan in the middle of the trivet, replace the lid, then simply press the pressure cook button. Next, Press the plus button up to 30 minutes cook time. The pot will begin to preheat, which will take about 15 minutes. Once that's done, your clock will start counting down. Now, when it hits zero, don't do anything. We want this to naturally release. If you do a quick release on a cake recipe, your cake is liable to fall flat. So be sure and just let the pot do its thing. Once it's doing that, your count up clock will begin to count. It could take as much as 20 minutes, maybe 30. You'll know when it's done, when that pin there drops. In my case, after 23 minutes, the pot has naturally released the pressure. I move the switch to vent and remove the lid. Lift out the cake from the pot, set it down, and then you want to remove the foil and let this set for about 20 minutes before you add your favorite icing. Then just grab your favorite frosting, ice your cake, serve and enjoy. Thanks so much for watching. Leave a comment. I'll answer every one of you, but till next time, bye-bye, y'all.